Uh, yes, my name is Patrick Barnard, and I'm a research geologist with the United States Geological Survey. Yeah, I'm a research geologist, and I oversee our climate impacts program on the West Coast. And so we are seek a data-driven understanding of potential changes to coastal communities and impacts of storms and sea level rise um, across the West Coast and the Pacific Islands and Alaska. I uh, define resilience as the ability to adapt to changing conditions. Um, for us at USGS, the goal is to provide science to communities so they can understand the range of conditions to expect in the future related to climate change, and then they can then strategically plan to adapt to those potential changes and impacts. Yeah, well, we don't have hurricanes, so often we're overlooked in the sense of these really big time impacts that we see in the East Coast and Gulf Coast, but we do have very large storms. Uh, we get very large waves, as much as 30 to 40 feet in the winter, and so that combined with sea level rise puts many communities at risk, and many of the communities on the, on the West Coast are built within estuaries, reclaimed estuaries, so in very, very vulnerable positions. Even though much of the coast is high relief, a lot of the people live right at sea level. Yeah, Cosmos is the coastal storm modeling system. Uh, we develop it to look at the dual impact of sea level rise and storms on communities across California. And the goal was to develop a, a line of products that would directly feed into the planning process. So not just to kind of walk away from the table um, with just providing the science, but also to provide um, the science in, in a format that people can use and, and really build right into their planning process and uh, how they're gonna look to deal with the climate change impacts. A couple things. One's really exciting is USGS has a, a definitely a, a move toward developing more nationally consistent products. So not just doing hyper-local or regional efforts, but trying to develop national scale products for coastal hazards so that all the different communities and all the different congressional districts will have the same sort of set of plans to look at to understand mm -hmm. how they might be affected by climate change. Um, the other on the, on the science side in particular is in this, this satellite era. Now we have this amazing resource where we have satellites that are measuring like every square foot of the earth um, on a daily basis. And so we have this opportunity now to build, bring all this data into our models and update our models on a more consistent, continual basis.